All right, all right. LDBC. It is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys. Beta Arteaga versus Denise Kills. Guys, I am a big time, I'm a big time hardcore Denise Kills fan. Guys, I am. That just is. I, so, yes, I was biased. I had a dog in this fight. Um, round one started out, they were both, they didn't really take time to fill each other out. Denise, I mean, uh, Veda Arteaga immediately started started putting pressure on Denise, and Denise was backing up. Uh, Denise was jabbing, sticking and moving, sticking and moving. Veda Arteaga was doing a very good job of cutting off the uh, octagon from Denise Kilhos. But Veda kept trying to, she kept trying to engage Denise in a clinch. Denise was doing a good job of getting out of those clinches, and she would always lead the clinch with an exit shot which I thought was good, like, and I thought, you know, Denise was, you know, to me, Denise was winning. I gave round one to Denise Kilhost. I mean, she clearly landed more clean, effective strikes in that round, okay? And that's just how it is, you know? I mean, more clean, effective strikes. I was like, yo, okay, Denise is in here doing this thing, you know? She's doing it. And she wasn't allowing Veda, because Veda said, you know, yeah, I'm going to bang with Denise. I'm going to bang, I'm going to stand with her. But, you know, Veda wasn't wanting to stand. Denise hit her with a couple of counter right hands. And Veda Arteaga was like, uh-uh, hell no. I ain't finna stand with her. And, uh, you know, Veda started going for the takedowns. Uh, round two, you know, I saw Veda Arteaga. She started out trying to bang with Denise Kilholz, but it didn't work for her. So she went for a beautiful takedown and got the takedown. Denise did a very good job of getting back to her feet, man. And um, Denise started getting control of round two you know started trying to and you know veda was doing a good job though now in this round veda her counters were working a lot more and i saw veda landing some very clean strikes but her stand-up was not there with denise's denise Kilhos made a critical mistake man very critical mistake um she went for her own takedown on veda arteaga and i'm like whoa okay i wasn't expecting denise to go for a takedown but she did it and that proved to be the, the fatal, the fatal mistake. Uh, Denise went for the takedown; she was successful. But then, you know, Veda had part of a guillotine choke, and I'm like, uh oh, okay. I wonder if Denise is going to get out of this guillotine. And you know, it, it looked like in the beginning Denise was going to get out of the guillotine, but Veda, you know, she had it on a lot tighter than what I thought. And then Denise stood back up, got back to her feet, but Veda Arteaga was not letting go of that guillotine. She didn't. And eventually, you know, Denise you know, started losing air and oxygen, and she tapped out. Um, I actually had Denise Kilhost winning this fight. I had her winning before the submission. Um, you know, just one critical mistake, man. It's the fight game. And, you know, Denise, she's a perfectionist, man. She's a very, very, she's a very, like, OCD perfectionist. I love Denise to death, and I'm actually interviewing again um, to discuss this fight. But, uh, you know, yeah, man, she had, she could have won if she just would have stuck to the game plan and really just kept sticking, moving, and landing her strikes, and stopping the takedowns. Her takedown defense was on point. But Veda Arteaga, man, she was ready. And Veda timed it beautifully. Okay, so shout out to my girl Denise uh, Kilhost, and shout out to my girl Veda Arteaga for a very good uh, standing guillotine choke on one dynamite Denise Kilhost. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.